Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your general love reading for June 2020. Sagittarius, thank you so much for your support here on YouTube. I've been on YouTube now for the past year. Uh, it's, it, I think it was a year at the beginning of June. Um, thank you so much for the ones who've been here since the beginning. You guys are awesome. You've helped me really grow throughout this journey. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post daily, daily videos, daily card readings, daily inspiration, uh, you know, insight in the astrology that I absolutely am just <laughs> wrapping my head around right now. Um, also here on YouTube through the community tab, you'll see the daily messages when you log into your YouTube um, account. So Sagittarius, you might be going through a lot in the last few days and weeks and and hours. Oh my goodness. So the North Node is in Gemini. The South Node is in your sign, Sagittarius. You can take a look at that video that I have posted about two, three weeks ago and what that all means, astrologically speaking. But when it comes to relationships, Sagittarius, this is about you being forced to look at your identity who are you is your relationship in in alignment with who you are you are a sign that is very very um adventurous you are up to learning you are open to learning so many different things you're the you know you're ruled by jupiter jupiter is expansion it's higher learning uh, it's good luck, it's blessings, it's hope. However, are you being too hopeful in relationships that are not really, again, in alignment with who you truly are? Now, um, let me start with these two cards here, the oracles. So yeah, it does feel like romance, is about to strike here for some of you, for some of you. Some of you are still in karmic relationships. This is very different. For some of you who are in karmic relationships, it feels like this message is for you. So I'm going to read it for you. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. There's someone here in the relationship who doesn't accept the other person for who they are. You know, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it always goes back to judging and criticizing. I feel a lot of judgment and criticism. And being in a, in a relationship that is full of that is just a, an indication that this person and you are not on the same vibration. You got to get on the same vibration. There's no, I mean, there's always... You know, there's always this openness towards receiving constructive criticism and feedback from our partner. Absolutely. But I mean, it's acceptance. You have to accept the way the person is on a core, in a core deep value, in, in a core deep way. It goes down to your core values here. So are you looking at the facts in your relationships? This is what the North Node and Gemini, we're headed in Gemini here. We're all Gemini, North Node. You know, following the facts, the reality. Are we being realistic? Are we looking at the facts? This person is, is this person really accepting me for who I am? Or am I accepting this person for who they are? Let's get some more. Yeah, it feels like you're trapped. Ooh, okay. Wow. Codependency, yeah. So retreat does feel like you are disconnecting it's time to disconnect from the world it feels like i feel like you're disconnected from the world and it's weird right because sagittarians are really connected are really you know they're the explorers of the zodiac they continuously want to explore and connect and and reach out and you know they have friends from all walks of life you know they're super positive and very honest people however you're stuck in your head. You're, this relationship, this encounter, this connection makes you feel stuck in your head and disconnected from your heart space. It's time to take back control of your life. Ooh. 
Let me show it to you again. It's time to take back control of your life. You're trapped. You're trapped in a relationship where you can't be yourself. Look, Sagittarius in a cage. Are you kidding me? No. Guys, you know, Sagittarians are the most independent, free. They're so free in their spirit. They cannot be locked down. They need to ha They need to be in a relationship where the other person doesn't make them live in a cage. That doesn't make them feel like they're stuck in a prison. Mentally speaking, for some of you. Separation here is on the horizon. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Why do I feel like for some of you, as, as soon as you make that decision to free yourself... From this, so separation, breaking up, moving away, walking away, freeing yourself up. That's when you love comes in. As long as you have this in the way, this energy in the way, this cannot come in. Okay, it's too clogged. There's just too much. There's too much energy. There's too much. There's too much of something that uh, is clogging up the way for this new love to come in. A new person has surgery romantic feelings. This comes in only if you deal with the rest. Bottom of the deck, codependency. Some of you are stuck because you are afraid to let go. You're afraid to be alone. You're afraid to feel. These, these are all belief systems, right? So this is what the Sagittarius South node. We're letting go of belief systems because Sagittarius does rule the belief systems. What do you believe in? So it's you letting go of your belief in finding happiness or romance only in people, places, and things that keep you Safe. This is a false sense of safety, of security that you're dealing with here. Okay. Let's get some tarot and see. Holy crap. Okay. Look at you, Sag. Queen of Cups. You're feeling things out. You're feeling things on an emotional level. That is hard for fire signs. <sighs> Queen of Cups, yeah, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I really do feel like it's the Sag, it's the Sagittarians here are having to deal with their emotions. I mean, the full moon, the lunar eclipse full moon is in your sign. Of course, you're dealing with crazy emotions. But I feel like as soon as you allow, look how she's allowing, she's surrendering to her feelings. That's how you free yourself up. Is by accepting and allowing those feelings to come through in your consciousness and in your body, in your emotional body. Look, as soon as that happens, we have the wheel. And look how more freeing she looks and feels. She frees herself up. Look at that. She's in tune. She's just in tune with, with herself, with her emotions. This is what I think is coming to the forefront here. And then we have the High Priestess. Look, another card that's telling you that you're being forced to tune in. Tune in to your intuition. Tune in to the higher dimensional spirit guides, your higher selves, your spirit team. You tapping into a higher wisdom is what is being encouraged here. You know, you know what to do. You know it's coming. You know that the separation is coming deep down. This breakup, whatever it is. Ooh, Knight of Cups. He fell in the codependency. So this person that you're dealing with, so the Knight of Cups like this can be a secret admirer, someone who um, has this intention of coming forward to invite us on a date or to just show some level of interest but he's in reverse it doesn't make me feel like this person is open towards even making an effort this guy makes an effort look at that he has a bouquet in his hands he has his little spread here his picnic spread 
like this, it doesn't seem like he's willing to make that effort, guys. So well, this is what they're pointing out. We're attached to someone who's not able to give us what we want. Belief systems here. You might be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio King of Cups. It feels like you're not on the same path. You're not on the same spiritual path. Magician. I've been getting that card for a lot of people. The Magician with the Two of Cups. This is manifesting a union, a soulmate connection that is on the same vibration. I give my cup, you give your cup. Both our cups are full because we both learned how to self-love, how to pay attention to our needs, how to understand what it is that we deeply want. Uh, this is two people that have done the shadow work, the inner work before coming together. They're the magician. Look at this. This is manifesting the two of cups. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are putting in the work in a relationship that feels unhealthy for some of you with the devil card. Capricorn energy. Ten of Cups, again, you, you want to get your emotional needs met here. But it comes at a price with that Devil card. It comes with codependency. Like I said, Devil energy is codependent. It's attachments. It's unhealthy attachments. We're not supposed to be attached. We're supposed to be connected. I'm attached to nothing and connected to everything. Because if I'm connected to myself, and that's how I, I'll know if this person is on my vibration so i feel like for some of you this might open up a new door towards um your new person it says new love here so i feel like as soon as you're able to get into your queen of swords and cut out something a relationship a person here then we are moving on with the six of swords this is what is asked of you right now in the month of june yeah, because you know there's other possibilities out there. Look at you. That is so Sag energy. Two of Wands. You're like, I know there's other things out there. And if you're stuck in the house with someone and you feel trapped, because I, I know you do. I see it in the cards. It feels like you're just looking out for something that's more inspirational, that's more inspiring, because Sag wants to be inspired. There's a lack of inspiration coming from this person. All right, let's get maybe some angel answers to get some advice. What advice do you have for my Sagittarians watching for June? Okay, so Sagittarians, I know a lot of you are very anxious and worried. But they're saying no need to worry. They're saying to really have a conversation with your higher self with the angels, with your spirit team. This is you sitting down and actually listening, actually tuning in, paying attention. If you can't pay attention to yourself, you can't pay attention to your emotions, how do you think this new love is going to come in if you stay stuck in an old cycle? You're stuck in an old karmic cycle here. A lot of you have a hard time reaching out and trusting others in that sense when it comes to opening up and being vulnerable and asking for help. Well, they're saying ask for help from others. This can also be your angel or a spirit guide that is trying to help you. You have a lot of spiritual guidance here. Angels, help from others on how to stay on this path. Remain positive because look at this you are recovering from something you will need to recover from something if you are going through a separation or breakup or if you've walked away from something you need that time to just sit with yourself and really think about and feel the yucky emotions we need to feel it to heal it we need to purge if you don't take that time then you're going to repeat the same cycle the same patterns with the next person Okay, and we don't encourage that, really. And this is why at the bottom of the deck we have religious factors. This is just telling me that your spiritual path 
is being affected here. You're, it's being influenced. You're spiritual. You're on a different path spiritually because I see that there is someone that is not seeing eye to eye with you in your in your belief systems, but also in the way just your energy flows. You know, you're different. Sagittarians need to have someone by their side who is very supportive of that because you're always constantly searching for new ways, new friends, new opportunities, new situations, new friendships, new ways of learning because you have that deeper learning within your core. So how can you do that if you're stuck in a rut here? I hope these messages were helpful and insightful. Please do reach out if you need a personal reading. You can check out my uh, calling in your person bracelet. I'm not sure if I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but uh, I am taking orders still for this bracelet. I have some beads left. This bracelet is really, really, really precious to me because the energy works, guys. I mean, this is a new bracelet, but my original one that I had previously made uh, last year, I have you know, worn it for at least seven, eight months until it broke. So when a crystal bracelet breaks, it means that the energy has done its job. So we need to start paying attention to the next signs of this person actually showing up. So that's where I'm at in my journey. So please take a look at the website if you are interested and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great month in June. Take care.